Since the death of George Floyd in Minnesota, there have been calls all over the country to defund police departments. And now that cry is being heard right here in Durham. CBS 17's Amani Payne live tonight where the city council just passed the budget about 30 minutes ago. Amani. Yeah, the budget just recently passed, like you said, about 30 minutes ago. In it, Durham PD is set to receive $1 million more than they did last year for a total of about $70 million. Now, as you can see, that's upsetting to some folks out here. They are occupying the front of police headquarters right now, and they say that they're going to stay here until their calls to defund the police are heard. Now, the group braved the weather earlier today as they marched from five points to Durham PD to make their voices heard. This all happening at the same time as tonight's city council meeting, where they passed a budget to provide a 5% increase in funding to the police department, giving them about $70 million. Now, that comes out to nearly 15% of the city's overall budget. Dozens of community members spoke during the meeting, demanding that money go to community organizations instead. Ultimately, every council member voted in favor of the budget, leaving community activists who recently met with police and city leaders about their concerns extremely frustrated. Honestly, now, I think they were just trying to make me a buddy so I could, they could squash the movement. But um, honestly, I think they spit in my hand when I extended the olive branch. About 300,000 people. Um, imagine a department that is running cars and has people in the building and lights on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. How much do you think that would cost? To, to run an operation like that to keep 300,000 people safe. And if anybody can come up with a number south of 70 million, but still keep us safe and serve, hey, I, I, I'll write the ordinance myself and push it. The council says the money will not go towards new gear, raises, or more police jobs, and is mostly due to inflation. Now, as you can see, the group out here is not letting this decision curb their fight for change, continuing their demonstration out here in the rain. Now, the council also says they're working on a resolution to make racism a public health crisis here in the county. For now, we're live in Durham. Imani Payne, CBS 17 News.